you know what they call me in the ancient legends of the Dalek homeworld? The oncoming storm. You might have removed all your emotions, but I reckon right down deep in your DNA there's one little spark left. And that's fear. Doesn't it just burn when you face me? It's August in Central Texas. We've got heat indexes over 100 degrees, and I'm wearing a black leather jacket with a V-neck. No, I'm not crazy, but the Ninth Doctor is returning. Coming from the Radio Times, our headline reads that Christopher Eccleston to return as Doctor Who's Ninth Doctor after 15 years. Yes, it's happening. It's actually happening. Now, before you get too excited, this is going to be for Big Finish Audio Productions. Now, let's get to the article. Today from the Radio Times. Christopher Eccleston is set to play the Ninth Doctor again, making his long-awaited Doctor Who comeback after 15 years. Well, Chris... You're seven years too late, I gotta be honest. Where we really needed you was in the 50th anniversary. Now that being said, the gems like we got from you during Series 1 of New Who were fantastic. And man, do I miss you. Back to the article. Eccleston, who departed Doctor Who after a single series in 2005, will return to star in a new series of 12 full cast adventures from audio drama producers Big Finish. These stories will be divided across four box sets, starting with Volume 1 in May of next year. Eccleston's quoted as saying, After 15 years, it'll be exciting to revisit the Ninth Doctor's world, bringing back to life a character that I loved playing. You know, you could have fooled me on that one, Eccleston. As much as I thought you were fantastic as the Doctor, All these years since then that you've really separated yourself from the show and the fandom, you know, it's not something that sat well with a lot of us. And it just wasn't the right decision overall. Now, that being said, recently Eccleston has made up with the fans. He started appearing at the convention circuits. And he's had a lot more interaction with the show and the the fandom in general. And, you know, I think for the most part, Whovians were pretty happy to see him back. Big Finish's chairman revealed that he'd first approached Eccleston about returning to the role of the Doctor at a fan convention in February. Chris said he was enjoying meeting the fans and was pleased that his Doctor was remembered so fondly. You know, he really is, and I think a big, big factor in that was not just the excellence that we saw from the Doctor, it wasn't just the hard edge that he brought to the role and the extreme gravity that we hadn't seen perhaps since Tom Baker, but the rekindling of the love affair with Eccleston has a lot to do with what we've seen recently from Series 12. Fandom has been really, really harmed and hurt, and R.I.P. Doctor Who. Having something like that happens really does make you nostalgic for the past. Back to the article. I'm so pleased that Christopher has decided to return to the role with us, and I'm excited to welcome him to the Big Finish family as we discover new adventures of the Ninth Doctor. Eccleston, who is Doctor Who's leading man when the series made its grand relaunch in 2005. He departed from the show after an initial series of 13 episodes, later claiming that his relationship with his three immediate superiors broke down irreparably during filming. He also turned down that opportunity to reprise the Ninth Doctor for the show's 50th anniversary special in 2013, which of course gave us the amazing John Hurt as the War Doctor instead. But in his memoir published last year, Eccleston spoke 
positively about his relationship with Doctor Who fans and how this had healed him. Eccleston went on to say, These days, I feel nothing but positive about the show, to the extent I've even started doing conventions, something I'd been wary of because I wanted to earn my money from acting, he wrote. People bring memorabilia from across my whole career, which makes me feel good about my work and also about myself. It has healed something in me. Forget producers. Forget politics. You know what? You're damn right, Eccleston. Forget the politics. And if you bring us some Ninth Doctor adventures that do forget the politics and are just good fun, and they really are who you were back in 2005 during Series 1, you might have some people that get on board again. Here are real people who've seen me do my stuff and want to shake my hand. Each of the four volumes in the Doctor Who Ninth Doctor Adventures is going to be released in a four-disc collector's edition box set, yada, yada, yada. You know, it's good to see and to hear that Eccleston's coming back to Doctor Who but unfortunately, even in a big finished production, it just can't save the show. As a lot of folks who have covered Doctor Who have been very clear about, the show right now is just broken. While I do look forward to seeing the Ninth Doctor again, I'm going to buy it secondhand because I just can't give my money to the BBC. R.I.P. Doctor Who, and I'll catch you in the next video. Before I go, I do have one final ask for you. If you've watched the video this far along, please do like the video. Let's talk about the news in the comments below and share it with your friends that you think might find this news interesting. As a new creator in YouTube, those things are critical to helping me expand my reach to continue to bring you some more news about things that you love and enjoy and provide my commentary about the pop culture and the geek culture that personally I absolutely love. And if you really do want to see more content in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.